these questions should be a revision of your GCSE work. So start with a nice basic one. 4 cubed is just 4 by 4 by 4, which is 64. Part B, minus 2 cubed. So when it's a minus number raised to a power, first thing to do is to decide, is your answer going to be plus or minus? So your rule would be, if the power is odd, it'll, your answer will be minus, and if your power is even, your answer will be plus. So we're cubing this, so it's an odd power, so our answer is going to be minus, and then 2 cubed is 8. Part C then, 1.44 to the power of a half. Whenever you have a decimal, first thing to do is change it into a fraction. So as a fraction, that's 36 over 25, and that's to the power of a half. Power of a half is the square root, power of a third is cube root, power of a quarter is the fourth root, and so on. So we're taking the square root of this fraction, which means you take the square root of the top and the square root of the bottom. Minus indices then, 4 to the power of minus 2 is the same as 1 over 4 squared. So that's 1 over 16. 6 to the power of naught, anything to the power of naught is 1. Part F, we've got a fraction, 4 over 9 to the power of 3 over 2. So the easiest way to do this, 4 over 9 to the power of a half all cubed. So you keep the fraction inside and you move the numerator outside the bracket. So power of a half, remember, is the square root. So that's 2 over 3. And now we're going to cube that. So we have 8 over 27. Part G, 4 over 9 to the power of minus 3 over 2. So we said whenever it's um, a minus power, we do 1 over. So for a fraction, that means we turn the fraction upside down and we get 9 over 4 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, the most common mistake people make here is they change the power to 2 thirds instead of just 3 over 2. So remember, you're just losing the minus sign and you're, just, you're flipping the fraction inside the bracket. So then that's 9 over 4 to the power of a half all cubed. So we've got 3 over 2 all cubed. So that's 27 over 8. And our last one then, 16 to the power of minus 1.5. Remember, if you've got a decimal, change it into a fraction. So that's 16 to the power of minus 3 over 2. So that's 1 over 16 to the power of 3 over 2. Remember then keep your fraction inside. So it's 16 to the power of a half. All cubed. So 16 to the power of a half, that's the square root. So it's 1 over 4 cubed. And that's 1 over 64.